Hi guys, this is Simon Sage from Android Central. We're here at Technician. Uh, they're launching a new uh, widget platform home screen optimization for Android called Chameleon. And to help show it off, uh, we've got uh, Gabor here. How's it going, Gabor? Oh, great. Thanks for having me. Cool. Great so, to show it off. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, th this has been announced on Kickstarter, mm -hmm. and we're getting some hands on time here. Mm -hmm. uh, can, you, uh, can you walk us through here the, uh, the, the, the general behaviors? Yeah, sure. So, this is, this is kind of what we showed off on uh, Kickstarter. And uh, what we wanted to demonstrate is the layout, the design, um, uh, the, the way that it, uh, it has a lot of harmony to it, so it takes away a lot of the clutter of, of regular widgets. You know, um, we also wanted to show off some of the transitions between them, how the, uh, the contextual app tray works. You know, all of these are, are widgets that I can launch if, if I needed to. So it's Gmail, it's a Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> um, so, you know, um, to show off a little bit of the contextual idea, while the automatic contextual uh, engine is not, uh, is not in this, it's something that we're currently working on, but uh, we, we set up these as kind of demo um, dashboards. So for example, this might be an afternoon dashboard or an evening dashboard. When I get home, I might want to check uh, you know, my Netflix queue or whatever the currently recommended titles are. I could go ahead and launch Netflix from there. Um, back. There we go. Um, you know, I could check Facebook. Uh, uh, these are my favorite um, apps that I may want. Uh, I, I may not always want the same row of apps. Some of these may make more sense at home at night than maybe at work. You know, if I am at work, that would automatically transition as soon as I got to work. And maybe I focus a little bit more on my calendar or what I'm reading or the actual documents that my team is working on. Gmail probably gets a, a bigger view, you know. Um, so uh, what, what are some of the ways in which uh, the new scenes are kind of triggered? Uh, it's mm -hmm. by like GPS location, Wi-Fi network time? Yeah, those are, those are three ways that, that they, are, they are triggered. What we are, are planning on is uh, having a very simple way in which you can set up rules. You can set up rules, you know, for example, time-based. You can say uh, multiple instances across multiple days. So you can have three <coughs> rules a day, four rules a day, whatever you want. Um, and then it depends on GPS location. We are, we are planning on making the GPS very scalable so you can set the, the range of the GPS. Um, and then, uh, or say as soon as I lo latch onto this specific network, like maybe my work network, show me my work dashboard, that type of a thing. You know, um, the, the, the tough part underneath is making it really, really simple to fill out what is essentially um, a schedule. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you, you, you've got uh, widgets here that are outside just kind of the standard vanilla mm -hmm. Android. You've got some stuff from Netflix there. Uh, like, uh, how are you working with, uh, with outside developers in terms of APIs? So right now we're, we're building widgets that are based on, on well-published public APIs. You know, just to make it uh, easier for us to develop and also to demonstrate what just about anybody can do. So that's part of our, our roadmap is to enable anybody to build widgets. And it's uh, the, the the widgets are all going to be HTML5 then, or yeah, HTML5 is kind of the rendering en engine underneath the, the widgets. Uh, we are building the framework. We'll have uh, hooks into it that your HTML5 widgets can call to, so you can access the the, the hardware itself. But just for ease of development, uh, uh, reach the biggest uh, audience possible, we're we're just building them in HTML5. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, the Kickstarter campaign. Um, I mean, you, you guys were, were going to launch this uh, anyway, like on your own. Uh, right. why, why, why go through Kickstarter for additional funding? Um, so a couple of reasons. One, Kickstarter, the great thing I love about Kickstarter is that uh, it's pre-sales, right? So, so if an idea is good enough, people will be willing to pay for it right away. Um, and so it kind of allows the idea to stand on its own, which is great. Um, also, it, uh, it's great PR. Gets sure. a lot of great press, you know, and really, even though we were going to, uh, we fully plan on on releasing it on our own. Uh, the funds from Kickstarter uh, brings that window in closer, essentially. Very cool. So, what what, what is that window? What's the, what's the pricing and availability going to be like? Um, so, we're still settling on the pricing, and Kickstarter actually helps with that. You know, uh, it helps with uh, understanding what people are, uh, what value people put on them. You know, uh, put on the app. Um, and uh, availability right now, we're, we're shooting to have uh, this in the hands of, of the people who pre-ordered on Kickstarter in August, and then uh, probably September, have it out on the Google Play Store. 
Very cool. Well, we're going to look forward to it. Thanks a lot, Gabor. Thank you.